Be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and click the bell icon to be notified every time I upload a new video. Hey guys, Luke here and I got a comment the other day where someone had downloaded an application from the internet and it came up with an error message that said this app is damaged and cannot be opened. Do you want to move it to trash? Obviously you don't want to move it to trash, you've just downloaded it so you want to open it up. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to fix that, it's really really super simple. Now this method does include the use of terminal but honestly do not be scared. When I look at my audience retention figures everyone seems to drop off as soon as I I mentioned the word terminal but seriously it's just a piece of code that you need to copy and paste from the description and your application will be working again. So first of all you want to open up a new finder window and find your applications folder. Your application should be in the applications folder for it to work anyway but make sure it's in there and then you need to open up terminal and you need to go down into the description down below where you'll find a piece of code that will make your program work again. So you want to go to your terminal window and make sure they are in split screen mode like here uh, where you've got your terminal on the left and your applications on the right. It just makes everything a whole lot easier when you're trying to drag over. You'll see in a minute, don't worry. So take the piece of code and copy it and then you want to paste it into your terminal console window here. It's X-A-T-T-R uh, space uh, and then a dash CR and then you want to put another space in and then now you'll see why we wanted the applications window open on the right here you basically want to take the application that you want to fix and you want to drag it into the uh, terminal console and then it will add the path that that application is located at so it's forward slash applications forward slash screenflow dot app and then all you want to do is click enter and then it's just going to bring up the third line for you, which will basically tell you that the application has now been fixed. Obviously, it's not going to tell you that, but then you can go ahead and open up the application and you'll see that it opens up just as you would want it to without the problem of it asking you to move the application to trash for no reason on there happening anymore. 